be in the same city, meet up and square up and jack. Wanna do this internet shit? Ain't shit else for us to say. Bitch, you started it. I hate a nigga that starts shit and then cry wolf. I do, I do 300 push-ups every day. So basically 150, 150 in the morning and 150 at nighttime. I'm doing that all week, you guys. But yeah, we start in the morning off pretty late. And it's, it's almost 10 o'clock. I was just so freaking tired, y'all. Like, <laughs> I was so freaking tired and my body was kind of so on the low. Realizing, baby, you get old because I was, I was wore out. And I'm over here like, shit. I'm telling them, oh, shit, we can go to um, Six Flags Sunday. <laughs> no, the fuck, we could not. You know what I'm saying? But, but it's Monday. We're giving up the week. And we got to get back started. We got to get back in rotation. I just really just wanted to check in and um, start the vlog, guys. I get over with y'all after my little workout and let y'all know how this how this goes. Because it's my first time going to a park. I don't really like working out in front of a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if I don't wake up at a certain time, or go at a certain time at the gym I really don't be wanting to go to the gym And so it's like that would make me do my little walk at the crib Or my little stuff at the crib It's like nah I need some I need to be doing more than just walking And lifting these little weights up So I, you know y'all know my boy Phil He be doing his little thing at the um At the park So I'm like shit we got a park just like that So shit I'm finna, I'm finna give this a fucking try You know what I'm saying Just because it is late It's late It's freaking late And then you know I don't want to be out here too long because it's, it's, it's already 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock. It's, it's going to get hot. You know, I don't really want to be out here in the sun or whatever. I did the thing where I don't have like 
no music or anything like that. You really just be by yourself. You really just by yourself, just working out. And uh, yeah, your mind be all over the place. But like you know, as you get used to it, you can you can control those thoughts. You know what I'm saying? But I actually do like the little workout outside at the little park thing. Now it wasn't the right part. It wasn't the part that I was expecting because I, I was looking for a, a particular type of play play set or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But um, they didn't they actually didn't have that. So I had I pretty much had to improvise what I had. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I gave myself 30, 40, 30 to forty five minutes at the park, and I didn't want to go find another park. I do it the next time I want to go work out at the park, but um, for the most part. It was straight. I had to improvise. If I had, I just, I feel like if I would have had the type of, I knew what I was looking for pretty much. If I would have had that, it probably would have been a 10 out of 10. Couldn't do really nothing but do my push-ups. And so that's pretty much all I did was them push-ups. Because um, I ain't going to hold y'all. Monkey bars. Like, I was really looking for, like, the monkey bars. Because it would it, it would have gave me, like, pull-ups and all that other stuff. What I what I actually had recorded myself on, I didn't like that shit. That was, for one, it was too fucking high, and it was too freaking thick, so I couldn't really, like, stay up in the air too long to do any fucking thing. So, yeah. Um, but other than that, it was straight. I ain't gonna hold y'all doing 100, 150 push-ups. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> I ain't gonna say hard, but it hurts. It hurts. Like, I just normally used to do, like, 50 to 75 a day. Like, you know, like, I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all like that. I used to just really just do like 50 a day. 50 a day. When I started seeing all these people on TikTok talking about how like working, like how um, push-ups can really, you know what I'm saying, do, get the job done, I started doing like 50, 50, at the most 50 a day. You know what I'm saying? And so now I'm trying to, this, I'm trying to up it a little bit. And I try to do 150. It took I, it took the whole it took the whole forty five minutes. I had um I had the time for my car for forty five minutes. I think I went over it for about a couple of minutes. So I the whole time I just did push those game. But tomorrow or one day another day this week we gonna go look for a park and we just gonna keep find. Cause I'm, I live I live downtown so I, I pretty much I'm by a couple of parks. So uh, we gonna we gonna find us our, our right part, you know what I'm saying? We gonna find the perfect part, you know what I'm saying? But tomorrow I might just take my little butt to the gym. I don't know. I, the gym just so far now. I think that I really think that's it though, gang. The gym so far away from me, and I got plenty of fitness. And um, it's so far. And with our highway, I just I don't know. I I, I gotta wanna go. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. And we got a gym around here, but I don't like their payment methods. It's like you did I'm damn near paying what I pay a month at Planet Fitness. I'm paying them every week. I don't like that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I like that game. And it ain't you would think though with that type of thing, it's you can pay when you go. I don't know, but I'm not finna pay that shit every day. I mean every week when I pay this every month at Planet Fitness. So um I'm gonna make sure I get my ass up in the morning and I take my butt to the gym. Cause I ain't gonna hold y'all again. I think I'm I think uh what, what what we call it? We half ass and shit. Like you know we half ass and like be get on your zoom but um I'm back home gang um and so um yeah finna freaking make me some breakfast and take my little nutrition and uh, get the freaking day started gang
What's up, you gang? I actually didn't check in with y'all when I got back from um doing my from coming from downtown at the park, but but I had a client. Don't oh, mind my hair. I'm finna, I'm finna do my hair today because I just booked me a haircut appointment for tomorrow. I don't know why, but I don't care because I'm going out of town this weekend, and I know for a fact. I'm going to have to book another appointment for my haircut Friday. But I had a read and this lady was like, B, you got to get on your motherfucking Zoom. And uh, she was like, I don't know. The reading just got in my shit saying it made me book me a haircut appointment, y'all. Because, um, yeah. But anyway, that was the point. I came home. I did me a client. And I really been cleaning the whole house. But that's all going to be on a different vlog. I'm actually I told y'all I'm going to uh, put a whole cleaning vlog on the channel so I ain't, ain't nothing that's gonna be in this vlog it's gonna be its whole separate vlog but that's pretty much what i'm doing today um yeah it's almost what time is it oh this phone died hold on that phone died but it's actually four o'clock the on that stove just said and um yeah y'all didn't tell me um <laughs> yeah i didn't tell me cleaning videos is, it take this long like i really just i only clean as as of right now, I only clean the living room and the kitchen in my my kitchen bathroom, and I've been freaking cleaning since like <laughs> since like I don't know since like twelve eleven twelve, and it's four o'clock and I only I only I've been cleaning since like twelve o'clock and I only just clean my freaking living room kitchen and um the bathroom that's insane but um. Uh, the cleaning vlog, I'm trying to do it differently. I'm not trying to put myself in it. Just, you know, it, it, it's all about the content, man. But damn. <laughs> damn. Just like getting them angles and doing everything. That shit take a lot. That's, that take a lot, gang. But um, yeah, anyways, I just had to come in and check in with y'all guys. But um, I'm pretty much finna let these dogs out because they ain't been out since I got back. And later on, I'm debating. I might go to the gym, y'all. I think I'm going to go to the gym. I am. I got, I'm going to the gym tonight. I'm going to make sure that. And then I got to come back and I got to get on the computer and actually finish this fucking booking site. I got a lot of stuff I got to do business-wise. So later on tonight, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I also want to edit, but I ain't going to edit till I get in the bed later on today. But, yo, that's just pretty much. I just want to go ahead and check in with you guys, y'all. But, um, yeah. Y'all didn't tell me, y'all. Y'all didn't tell me. But the room, the, 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 everything look clean, though. Everything is clean. Everything is pretty much clean. I um, I um, cleaned the, the um refrigerator and stuff like that. I've been wanting. I want to fucking I don't know where all this stuff coming from, but I don't know. I be I be watching these um TikToks. I just be seeing people TikToks, and I like how that people be organizing a um refrigerator, and I. Realized today I don't have everything I need, but yeah. So um, eventually I'm gonna um get every I'm gonna get these things that I want in my refrigerator. Like I'm probably gonna be one of those people, cause I'm already OCD, and I'm I'm realizing all the different things I'm tapping into. So like I'm really gonna be one of those people where it's like one thing here, one thing there, one thing there, the bottom of this. Like, I'm gonna be one of those people where they like, they refrigerate is so organized. I see that now, like I, I attempted today. I attempt, I, I tried today, you know what I'm saying? Like, I put my little, I put my little apples in my little, in a little thing right here, you know what I'm saying? And you know, yeah, I did my little water right though. You know what I'm saying? Like. I did the little water, um, open, like, I, I'm, yeah, we, 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 we gonna get, we gonna get that, we gonna get that guy, we gonna get that guy, but, um, yeah, other than that, everything is clean, everything is freaking clean, it smells so good, you know what I'm saying, and, um, yeah, I'm washing my, um, hush, I'm washing all my rugs up here, I think my living room rugs are in the dryer, actually, are in a dryer actually, but um, yeah, other than that, <laughs> other than that, we we good, gang. But um, oh, yeah, and I'm doing my hair today, yeah, I gotta do my hair today if I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. But um, yeah, gang, but man, <laughs> I don't know if y'all be, I don't know 
if y'all be keeping over like TikTok drama and shit like that. It's just so much stuff I want to talk about. And um, I probably, I don't want to talk about it till um, probably tomorrow on tomorrow's vlog. I don't know, probably later. I don't know, but it's so much I want to talk about. I want to talk about, um, it's these two TikTok boys. I like BJTV. I actually used to watch them. Like, I watched them. Time. Like, I actually used to watch them on TV. But now I just pretty much just watch them on, um, like, TikTok and stuff like that. But I actually fuck with them. And it's these other, it's this other gay boy called um, Jalen and Cardo. Don't like them. Like, don't like them. Like, if you know, you know, gang. I'm going to talk about that shit because that shit, I don't understand it. But I understand I get what people do for clout. You know what I'm saying? Like, people do stuff for clout and people speak on people, speak on certain people that's actually popping in that moment. Like, they, the, the Jalen and Carter dude are actually just pretty much known for sticking, Jalen known for doing, having them long nails and making Starbucks in his, in his house or whatever. And Cardo, which is his boyfriend, he's known for seafood. He be putting whole lobster tail down his throat and shit. I don't know. That's that gay shit. And, but BJTV, they actually be, they do YouTube. I found them for doing pranks on each other, just being, you know, being them. And BJTV right now, which is BJ and Jameson, they actually popping. Like, they're popping. Because, they, you know, they keep up with the content. They be traveling. They be doing all type of stuff. with And Jalen and Cardo, they don't really, they, they don't really do nothing to me. They just, you just make coffee, nigga. So, it's just like, but... I'm going to run it down a little bit. Okay, boom. Follow me. BJTV, which is Brian and Jameson, they got invited. They, they are two masculine boys. I mean, one of them is more feminine, but they they dress masculine. They don't wear wigs. They're do, they not feminine or nothing like that, really. So, BJ and Jameson, they got invited to a wig party or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And so, they made they put on wigs. It was their first time ever putting on wigs. They one and only time putting on the wig because they got invited to a wig party. Boom. A day later... Jalen and Cardo both put on wigs. And Cardo, he's the masculine. He don't put on wigs. He ain't feminine. Jalen is feminine. But I don't, I think he, I think they say he used to wear wigs. I don't know, but I know he's more feminine. He carries himself as a woman. He dressed feminine. He walked feminine, talked feminine. He wear nails, makeup, all that good shit. So he's more feminine. Feminine. But Cardo, he's more masculine. He, he, he ain't never wore a wig or no shit like that. Like he's like a man. So boom, they did the wigs. And you know, I have to agree on this shit. Like, it really don't be the content creators causing the drama and the beef. It be the people in the comments. It be the viewers. And I, 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 I totally agree with that shit. Like, I just feel like the viewers cause this drama, but Jaden and Cardo drug this, this drama and did the most with it. Like, the comments was like, ooh, BJTV did it first. BJTV... Theirs was fire, y'all, this, that, woo, woo, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you copying them, blah, blah, blah. So, boom, they let them comments get to their fucking head. But remind you, BJTV, they ain't saying nothing. They ignoring them and everything. So, boom, Jalen and Carlo, they drug this shit for like a couple of days. And then BJTV was like, shit, nigga, I ain't finna do this internet talk. Like, nigga, where you at? What's up? We in the same city. Meet up and square up and jack. I, I, I feel it. Like, nigga. We in the same motherfucking city. I ain't finna keep going back and forth, video for video, live for live, talking shit. If you got a problem with me, meet up. Boom, drop the low. They didn't do that. So BJ and T be like, nigga, I ain't finna talk no more. Like, okay, nigga, clearly you just want to do this internet shit. Ain't shit else for us to say. So BJ TV, Jameson and Brian, they didn't say nothing else. It's two weeks. Jalen and Jalen and Cardo. Talking and talking, making videos after videos, throwing slick shots or whatever. Now he making YouTube videos about it. They doing more wigs and throwing shots and like just doing the most for like two weeks. It's been two weeks and Brian and, and Jamie said it was like drop the low. They ain't want to drop the low, but yet they still talking shit on the internet, on TikTok, on their YouTube videos or whatever. So boom. And then you know the comments, they doing what they y'all, they doing what they do, you know, talking they shit. Saying, oh, you scary, blah, blah, blah. Y'all just doing this shit for clout. Um, y'all need the viewers. Y'all need the money. You know, people, content creators don't really like the motherfuckers, you know, play on their top like that. So, shit, they got the proving a point. 
And so they saying all type of shit. And so I guess BJ TV, um, it was a it was a it was a moment where you know they were saying shit like you know they BJ TV responded to something and it got his mama to respond it. And so boom, this where the shit like just kicked off. He started talking shit about the mama and you know and Jameson. Then he said somebody's little girl. This nigga had the audacity. Jalen, this is Jalen. Jalen had the audacity to be like, I don't know word for like word from word, but he basically was like, um, you need to yo son, your mama should have, you should have took the knife your mama had and, and slid your daughter throat or some shit like that. He said something like that, and so. That's what everybody was dragging. So all, more content creators, more people was talking about, oh, you wrong for that. They ain't even been worried about you. They ain't been talking about you. It's been two, three weeks since they done, since this week, shit, y'all done drug you. Now you crossing the line, woo, 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 blah, blah, blah. Long story short, Brian don't play. One thing about Brian, he don't play about his daughter, baby. So boom, we, cause I'm like, oh, he done fucked up. He so I, now I'm tuned in, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, why would you do that? These niggas ain't even worried about you. They said fight, you didn't want to fight. You ain't dropped the load. So why are you still talking? Man, Jameson came back to the city. It was like, shit, you in Houston downtown, baby, I live though. Jameson came with these receipts. Jameson went looking for that man. And they talking about, I mean, Jameson came looking for that man, y'all. Like, he had videos of him going in his neighborhood looking for him. He had, he had videos of him calling all the hotels in Houston, whatever. Like, that nigga was, that nigga, he, he was about that action. Like, bitch, you done spoke on my daughter. Get in the field. Like, ain't, like at that point, get in the motherfucking field. Tell me that them niggas get in the field. No. These niggas, they done lied, talking about some Jalen and Cardo was live one day. The day Jameson and Brian got back to Houston. They was live all day long, talking about some, yeah, we outside in Houston, catch up, boo, 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 boo. So everywhere they said they was at, Brian and Jameson tried to pull up on it, but they was blocking him and unblocking him. Lying and saying he won't pulling up, boo boo. Just doing what, just doing what motherfuckers like that do. What internet niggas do, man. Just capping. So boom, so boom. She came out like now. The now it's like first you said y'all was in Houston. Follow me, gang. Follow me. First you said they was in Houston. Then the next day they said they was on a private island. No, no, no. no. First then they said they was somewhere playing tennis. And then it's then they said they was in a, on a private island. Come to find out these niggas in Florida and Myrtle Beach. <laughs> they like they left Houston. They was never in Houston. They left Houston. When they found out BJ TV was back in the city, they left. They left. It was capping like they was in the city. Man, you know how y'all, you know how y'all motherfuckers be like. Y'all be y'all detective on that motherfucker. Y'all will find out everything about a nigga. Like uh, it's crazy how they was like they was finding shit out about these folks. Like so fucking fast. That shit. That shit is a. That shit. That shit like that amazes me how people can find out so much about you so fast with little information. Like all they need to see is a one small thing. They putting two to two together and they coming up with four. Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? But um. More of the story is, gang, I don't like shit like that. Then they talking about some, oh, yeah. And, and then when they had made their post talking about some, they on a private island. Girl, they talk about some, yeah, we getting out, we calling the police, we getting the police is involved, I'll turn it this, I'll turn it that. We can't talk about it now, it's an open case. Bitch, you started it. I hate a nigga that starts it and then cry wolf. You started it. You you drug this beef when that, that that nigga when you got when you let them comments get to your motherfucking head and you started talking all this shit on the internet. These niggas first told you to link up like we in the same city. Link up. You didn't want to link up. Talk about you too pretty to fight. Just saying bullshit. He ain't want to fight. Like what I'm gonna fight you for? I'm up here. You down there? I'm above you. You a hoodlum, bitch. You said something about his daughter and his mama. Me though. Then you want to continue for damn near two to three weeks talking shit. Follow me, gang. I don't like shit like this. You want to continue to talk shit. Make videos. Cap. 
And then when this nigga come back and be like, fuck all this shit, get in that field. You don't want to get in that field? Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> I was like, and then you talk about this an open case. You started it. You started now. They just on the internet. Now they just on TikTok. Story B for everybody. Like this, what I just told y'all happened. Like it's it's Monday. So this had to happen like Wednesday last week, last Wednesday and Thursday. Y'all said y'all can't talk about it because it's an open case. They still talking about it, gang. They still throwing shots. Jalen on the Jalen on the motherfucking videos just doing this, basically doing a little sl slice your neck, like cutting your neck throat. Like he he joking, he like real loud joking about saying like saying he gonna kill somebody though. Like, why would you say that? Then he don't see no issue with him saying that. Like, I I get it. When when some people they like that. When you go when you go low, I go to hell. People like that. I can get like that, but it's just certain shit and certain people off limits. Like I'm gonna go to hell about shit about you. But I never say nothing about your kids, anybody that's like disabled, your mama. I never talk about, I don't, I wouldn't go that low. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I say something that's low, that I go to hell about something that pertains you. But to bring an innocent child in and to say a kid, basically say a kid is girl. And then you don't want to fight. You duck and smoke. That's insane. That's insane. Now they just on live beefing with everybody, throwing shots at everybody, talking about all the little content creators that done made videos about them. Because a lot of people didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and no, like, bitch, y'all. And Jaden is scary. He's scary. I'm just saying like that. He's scary. And he putting his nigga in bullshit because um, Cardo, you can, like, I looked at the video. You can see him, like, Basically telling him, all right, shut up, all right, shut up. Like, he always got to tell him, all right, shut up, all right, shut up. And then when he first when, when he first said that shit about slit slicing the daughter's throat, his whole face changed and he hit him. He basically, like, taps him, like, on his leg because he was sitting in his lap. Like, like, your own nigga know you went too far. And every time he, like, tried to say some little slick shit pretending, you know, slicing the throat, he hit his... I, I know how to read bodies. I know how to read the room and all that shit. Cardo, nigga, blink twice if you want out that shit, man, for real. Because now, oh, I seen that people saying that he was on live doing, like, the help me sign. I don't know. Girl, it's just a lot of bullshit. It's a lot of fucking bullshit. It's a lot of bullshit. And then, and then, it's Corey and Carmen and Corey and his bullshit. And then it's Queen and Clarence. It's just, oh my God. It's just so much shit that I just want to talk about, bro. Like, fuck is wrong with everybody? What is wrong with these folks? I don't know who pissing me off. Because I actually, while I was cleaning up, I was while I've been cleaning up, I was watching um Queen and Clarence um video. <sighs> I feel so bad for Queen. I just, I feel so bad for Queen. But y'all, I'll probably talk about some stuff on another t another time or on another vlog game. But yeah, man, if y'all gotta just, just follow me, gang. So, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, I don't know what's going on with these folks, but everybody need to tighten the fuck up for real. Everybody need to tighten the fuck up because. I don't know what's worse, the Queen and Clarence or the Corey and Carmen. Like, Clarence, baby Queen, I just feel like Clarence don't want to marry that woman. He don't. He don't want to marry that woman. Like, you, I don't know, like, I don't know. Oh, and then it's Ari and Tucson. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to believe because it's the internet and people do shit for the internet, bro. But this shit, like, a part of me feel like the Ari and Tucson shit. It's for they show, because they show drop in October. Tucson need him a storyline. I Because I just, I don't know. I just don't think that's, that shit went down like that in real life. I just think it's for the for the, for the the show. And then Queen and Clarence. I know Queen. She, she, you know, I know she like, you know, she wants to get married. But I just feel like, I just know Queen is not like, like, 
I don't know. I don't know. Cause I, I, I was saying like they, like they dragging this marriage shit because a lot of people them pointed out that you know Queen wants to get married, blah blah blah. So you know how YouTubers is when, when people when the when the viewers peep shit and they react to a certain shit, you got to keep the momentum up. And so I just pers I personally felt like they doing is like Clarence is they they in they acting mode where they like okay act slow. To get these people to talk, to get these views. I don't know. But then again, it's just like, this nigga might just not know none of these. This nigga might just be like this. And he just really so clueless and just really don't want to marry this girl. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Some part of me think all oh, this shit is for you too. And a part of me really feels that like, you know, your queen, this man don't want to marry you. And I see the look in your eyes, baby girl. You, was, you love this man so much and you just won't so much more out of this man you really want to get you really want to marry this man but now i ain't gonna hold you as a woman looking at another woman baby it looks like you begging at this point but i don't know i don't know it might be for the youtube that's why you just never know with these people and corey he just a hurt ex we all know and see what hurt exes do he a hurt ex that man that man right third Man, I was talking about this nigga the other I, the other day. Like I had a debate about what this what this nigga doing. Like it's just I don't know, y'all. I've been I've been I've been on my shit. I just I've been I don't know. I've been I don't know. I normally don't keep up with folks drama like this, but everything has been so interesting to me, y'all. And um yeah, but um like I said, I I keep talking and I need to hurry up before, and finish cleaning y'all. So um. Yeah, I'll probably tap back in with y'all later, guys. We hit the club and it's cops full of jealous. We in the bag and we bug in the tear. And I'm in a bad bitch and I got in the deal. Oh, yeah. I'm still saying, this bitch knows I can't get over. She gets down just like this in love. What's up, you gang? It's another day. It's Tuesday. 
and I'm sitting in my car because I'm irritated. <laughs> and this is why I tell y'all, y'all got to be very mindful of what you try to manifest and what you speak out because you're going to always get what you want or you will be forced to do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So long story short, short story long. <sighs> Y'all see, y'all know I got a car or whatever. It's paid off. Back when I ain't had no car, I had needed a car. So I came up with the money and I just paid this, bought this car for somebody, paid paid a good amount for it, whatever, boom. So I don't have no car note. But this ain't the best looking car. And I've always been that type of person. Like, I'm the type of person I have to have a car before anything, a car before a house, a car before a job, anything. And so I don't really be, I never really cared about what type of car I drive because as long as it gets me to A and B, I'm I'm really okay with it. I've always been a humble dude. I, I always, my nephew used to be like, Auntie, well, you woo woo woo, you this person woo woo, Auntie, when they was when they was some jits, they used to be like, Auntie, why your car look like that? Why you why you got this type of car? The only car I had and I had got myself was my first car and it was a Jeep. Oh, I love my Jeep. Like, that's, I love my Jeep. That's like, I love my Jeep. <clears throat> and then I had got a Mazda before this car. It wasn't the best car. It wasn't the best looking car. And then this car is like a, it's, it's the same type of, it looked like the same type of car as my Mazda. But like I said, I really never cared about what type of car I drive. And so now, <laughs> I've been, manif I've been trying to manifest a car. A, a, a car that I want You know like a car that fits my style That fits me I've been trying to manifest it I've been saving <laughs> Everything to get me a car Get shit in order to get me a fucking car And you know God God The universe God They got they They, they got a funny way of doing stuff Like I've been man, I've been trying to I've been Wanting to get a car for some time now you know what I'm saying? For a couple of months now. And it's like, nigga, you gonna get what you ask for. And um sometimes you're gonna be forced to do it. And I'm saying it because bitch, tell me why my motherfucking air went out of my car. My air went out of my car. And I don't need no antifreeze. I know when the the, the air ain't kicking, you need to put some antifreeze in your car. That ain't working. Took it to my pops. This nigga telling me I need such and such, such and such. Y'all, that shit cost damn near six hundred dollars. Who finna do that? And one thing I've always done though, with these cars that I know that I really don't like, I wouldn't say I don't want, but like, I don't know. I ain't the type to spend a lot of money on a car. <laughs> That I really don't want no more. So it's just like, okay, you putting me in a. I'm like, okay, you 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 putting me in a situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hot in a motherfucker. And not only it's it like it's not just my area, y'all. Like, yes, it's finna get cool, but my heat, like it's the air in the heat, y'all. <laughs> oh, that's why I be trying to tell y'all. Y'all got to be mindful of what y'all ask for because you damn sure going to get it. Now it's like uh, it's forcing my hand to put some pep in my step to get me a new car. Like now it's like, okay, now you ain't got no choice because, bitch, who finna ride around with no er and no heat? But I just think it's so freaking funny because my prayers and what my journal entries have been it's been, it's been, I've been speaking on it lately. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know, you got to manifest stuff. And it's like, manifestation is so real, y'all. Like, it's a thing. Like, when I drive this car, I'm visualizing the car I want. And I recently just started doing this. I went, because, you know, I know how, I know how this shit go. So it's like, okay, I'm ready, but I ain't, I ain't ready right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it. Like, I'm, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do some other shit. I'm, I'm thankful and I'm good with, with just having a car. You know, like I'm good. But it's like the moment I started, like just visualizing me driving this car, the color, the feeling, 
the 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 the, the, the model, like everything, like the feeling I I'ma have, the smell. Once I started tapping into that, this happened. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's how my morning is starting. Like this this happened yesterday when I had went to um. I realized yesterday when I was already on my way to my pop's house and this just so happened to happen so he had checked it for me and that's when he had told me and now it's like I woke up this morning was finna go to the gym got a little discouraged today about it can't hold you that's why I'm just parked outside sitting in the car cause it's hot it's freaking hot and my shit not working and so that kind of threw my morning off, y'all. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you, y'all. It kind of threw my morning off. I, I was finna make this a productive day, really, because I had a lot of shit I was finna do. Like, I was going to go to the gym, and then I was going to go wash my car, and then I was going to come back and do my client, then I was going to do my hair, then I get a haircut, everything. It was going to be a productive day. And now I'm just so, like, not in the mood to do nothing. And that's okay. You know, it's okay to just, you know, it's all right. It's all right, man. Like, I'm finna just, I, I got my journal. I'm just finna just chill in the car. I'm outside. So, you know, you can't, it's okay that, you know, something, something, so it's life happens. <laughs> life happens and, you know, stuff irritates us. And, you know, some of us, when we get irritated, everything just go out, out the fucking window. And that's okay for it to happen sometimes. You know, I ain't finna beat myself up about it. I ain't finna let it take over my whole day. I'm finna sit with myself, figure this shit out, understand what's really going on. And, you know, saying keep it pushing. Just be thankful. I'm just thankful that, you know, it ain't no motor or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just air and heat, you know, right now. So it's it's all good. It, it, ain't, it ain't nothing. But I just had to come and tap in because it's just like, y'all, it's so fucking crazy. Like, the moment I started like visualizing and um like just just living in that moment, like driving my new car, my shit wanna go out and it, it and it's gonna cost a lot of fucking money to get it done. And he know. Like it's like God know that if something was to happen that required me to pay money and put like put money into this car, I'm not gonna do it. Cause why put money into this car when that money can go into a new car? I'm not stupid. I don't know, gang. We might be, we might be going car, we, we might be going, we might be going car hunting sooner than later. <laughs> like, that's that's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. That's what is that's what it's giving because I'm not putting money in this car and I'm and I'm and I'm manifesting a new car. So that that's just that's just backwards. It's like, okay, what you want to do? I feel like this is a kick to me just doing it because i'm like a logic person i like stuff to be in order and i like shit to make sense before i do something next and people be like nah but you just got to keep going and and I, i'm understanding that like just do it you gotta really just do it it'd be some things that i could just jump in the deep end and do it but then some things i be having to like have my ducks in order and i don't know but now it's just like at this point i might as well just do it I might as well just fucking do it because I'm not I'm not doing that game. And I'm the summer over with, but it's still a little hot. It still get a little hot. But oh I'm thinking of when it get cold. I ain't gonna have no heat. I ain't gonna have no heat. So um yeah, y'all. Like I said, if you wanna manifest something, man, all you gotta do is just feel it live in that moment embrace that feeling of if you already if you was to already have it you know what i'm saying so um yeah but um yeah guys i don't know oh um yesterday i made my first seafood ball it was fire everybody liked it bryce liked it lily liked it i liked it i ate clock that Clack it. Let's clack it, gang. Let's clack it. Like, like, I'm really, I'm really like that, though. Like, I'm really like that, though. Like, I'm really, I'm really finding my little flow in the kitchen. I made breakfast the other day. Clack it. 
clack it game. Like, I'm really, like, hey, like, stop playing. I, 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 I'm one of them studs that can cook now. <laughs> like, I've been, I been known that I can cook game, but, like, I'm really, I'm really ripping shit up in the kitchen. Like, for real. When, when, when motherfuckers get to telling you, like, B.L., you need to go ahead and start you a cooking channel. That ain't my speed, though, you know. I might incorporate me cooking in my vlogs, but I ain't really no, like, cooking type of... I don't feel like... I don't think I want to do, like, a cooking... Vi um, do, do just cooking videos. I don't know. That just... I don't know. I don't know. I, I try to stay in my own fucking lane, you know. But that's just a good feeling to know that my food tastes good. And then, and then, I did I FaceTime my mama. You know you pressure when you FaceTime your moms. And I, while I'm cooking, I'm FaceTime her like, I'm, while I'm cooking. I'm like, yeah, look, yeah. She like, you ain't cook that. You cook that. They like, yeah, she cooking it. That's me. I'm doing that. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know you pressure when you call your mama. My mama just ain't used to me cooking. She, as a kid, she always wanted me in her kitchen. She wanted me in the kitchen where I was. I was in the kitchen, but as I got older, it's just like, I started becoming my own person. And so she just ain't never used to me cooking, like cooking. So I remember when I cooked, I cooked like some honey hot chicken, some mac and cheese. What else? I made a whole fucking meal. And I sent it to everybody. When I tell you everybody, this is what this is when I that break I had took from YouTube. When I tell you everybody thought I was capping. They thought they had when I cooked that meal. When I cooked that meal, everybody, even oh, even when I posted it on Instagram, everybody was like, Lily made that. Lily, Lily was out of town. <laughs> Lily was out of town when I cooked that, bro. Even Tootie was like, B, you ain't cooked that shit, bro. You ain't cooked that shit, bro. I cooked that shit, fam. My mama said the same thing. I risked being that bitch whipping shit up, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. But it was so fucking cool and so fucking fun to make my own fucking seafood, boy. Like, yeah. Because really, I was in my mama's house and um, I was struggling on TikTok. And I seen somebody made an egg boil. Just like some egg with the sauce, with the sausages and they sauce. I'm like, okay, I'm finna make that, but I'm finna add my muzzles. And so I went to this food city up here by my house. They didn't have no muzzles. And so I seen a sign and uh, for crab legs. And, bitch, I got seven clusters for $20. I'm going to say it again, gang. I got seven. I got seven crab clusters for $20. Who ain't get that? Matter of fact, I'm going to journal and go back in to eat my shit. When you cook, you um, you really do get full. I fucked it up though, but you really do get full. But um, yeah, gang. Um, I'm just talking, and um, oh my god, oh, I think I'm finna just. I think I'm gonna just go. I think I'm gonna just go downtown. I like to stay in routine. I'm finna just go down to y'all. Fuck it. Fuck it. I like to... I don't know. I've been liking what I've been doing. Like, every day, I either work out at the gym, work out outside, go for my walks, or go downtown. And I like what it's been doing to me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not... And I'm not finna let my little car situation throw me off track today. I woke up, I got up, I was finna do it, and we finna fucking do it. Yeah. You see how fast I snap back into a game? Don't don't let don't let shit ruin you. Don't let shit throw you off your throw you off your pivot, man, for real. So we on our way downtown. I don't got my tripod, unfortunately. So this probably gonna be like a little intimate type of quick little walk and journal time and I might, I'm gonna do my little push-ups so I probably won't 
do too much in recording. I probably prop it up depending on where I go and if I can because I ain't got my tripod. But this might just be a little intimate time because sometimes I be wanting to. I, sometimes I record for the content, but sometimes I just be needing that privacy and to, to actually feel it and, 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 and be in that moment. You know what I'm saying? And I'm kind of glad I decided to go without getting my tripod because. It can be one of them days. Because I, I got some stuff to say to, to, to this man up here. Because you are it. Like, it's like he already know what I'm trying to do come my birthday. <laughs> like, I, I I mean, I know. Like, dang, G, I know that, I know that you, you know, you, you basically telling me I could get everything I want when I want it. But, damn, I just feel like that's a lot of pressure on me. I'm already trying to go big and, 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 and make a big move. On my birthday, and you gonna do this? <laughs> you gonna do this to me? <laughs> okay, okay. We finna talk about it though. We gonna definitely talk. We gonna definitely chop it up, job. We, we, we gonna definitely chop it up. Cause, oh, um, hey, hey, hey. You funny. The universe. The universe be funny as hell. I'm trying to tell y'all. It be funny as crap. Job, so I, can't, I just got here. I just came and found me a little spot. A nice little spot in the cut by the water. You know what I'm saying? Got my little water in my journal right there. And I'm just finna catch a vibe, get my thoughts, get my head, man, and get tuned in. Yeah. I'm glad I came. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I came. And I'm kind of glad I'm right here. Water kind of scared me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just don't. Even though it's rocks right here, it just. That's a lot of water over there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad I came and I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Hope this fucking beat don't come bothering me. But um, I'll tap back into y'all when I leave, gang. All right, y'all, so I'm just getting back to the crib. It was actually nice, relaxing. When I had started walking, I had walked past the bikes. Almost got on a bike and went for a bike ride. But I was like, I'm going to wait another day. Probably do it tomorrow, actually. Probably do it tomorrow, like, get, like, book one of them bikes that's downtown and go for a little bike ride for, like, 20, 30 minutes. I'm just doing, I'm just really just trying to do stuff to keep me active, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, but I'm finna put my little eye patches on. I, I sometimes, I like to do it before, in the morning, before I like shower and do, and, and do my little morning routine on my face. And then at nighttime, after, I do all that. Yeah. Cool beans. All right. So we're going to let this sit. Let that marinate. Like I told you, it's called rejuvenating gold dust. Good stuff. I promise. Pinky. And so now, I'm going to take my shot. And I'm going to take my pill. I'm going to take another shot. I ain't going to lie, though. This whole combination right here, this NRG shit, and this apple cider vinegar shot, and this Nutriburst, a good combination for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it keeps me up and active. Like, I don't get drained. I don't get tired. I don't get lazy. Like, I'll be... It's, it's a good it's a good fucking combination for me. Shout out to Lily for putting me on to this NRG shit. Definitely a plus. I've been, I've been taking a little Nutriburst. Like, I, I've, I've taken it a couple of times. But, like, all together, I fuck with it. Fuck with it. So first we're just gonna do a little peel. And then, <coughs> and then a shot. And now we finna do my shot. It makes me feel like I'm drinking liquor. 
That's all you need. Not too much. Make me feel like I'm drinking liquor, y'all. Taking me a shot at 10.30. 10.30. Cheers. I like to give a toast. I like to give a toast to good vibes, good energy, more money, more money, new beginnings, um, looking good, feeling good, doing good, um, oh, goddamn, um, more subscribers, um, uh, big moves, more clients, everything. I cheers to that, baby. Take a shot. I'm realizing the more I take it, the, 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 the taste, it starts to, I start to taste it. Cause I really ain't been tasting it. <sighs> Whew. The first two times I wasn't tasting it, y'all. But it's like, shh, I've been doing this every day. And now I'm tasting it. But like, yes, it's 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 helping with the skin. I think so. I feel like I've been I've been looking at myself and like I'm glowing. So it's definitely doing what it says it's gonna do. And I told y'all I've been putting that on my lips and it's definitely been doing what it's supposed to do, goddamn. My lips is not black. <laughs> my lips is not as black as they was. I'm gonna put it like that. They're not as black as they was. But if we take this shot of Nutriburst, let's go. Now this, I don't like. Don't like it. I don't know. Something about that I don't like. You want to goddamn pop, 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 I don't know, y'all. I, I don't. I don't know. I did fifty. I make sure I do the hundred later on today. But I did fifty, guys. But it's ten. It's ten thirty. I got two hours before my first client come, so I'm gonna take these fucking dogs out, feed them, and wash these dishes from from last night when I made my seafood boil, and I'm gonna do my hair cause. Good God, put that hat back on. <laughs> Woo, I'm gonna do my hair, y'all. <laughs> Cause my hair is fucking crazy. And um, we're gonna continue to have a good day. Um, I'm gonna do everything I said I was gonna do today. So yeah, guys, I check back in when I check back in.